Hey, how's everybody doing this morning? Dave in Kentucky, got some coffee, finishing up the last of my Guatemalan, and uh, I'll have to move on to roasting something else. And I forget what I have. Uh, I think uh, Indian Mysore and something else. Anyway, <clears throat> here for a shave today. I'm going to use some Ethos Tonka Bean, which is a, uh, it's a straight up Tonka Bean. It's a sweet, nutty scent. Really, really nice, and I uh, love this F base from Frank. And uh, not that it goes with it, but we're going to use some Anthony's Authentic uh, Barbershop Bay Rum from a, a barber up in Pennsylvania that uh, my brother uses. And uh, he uses, uh, as he says on here, it's uh, it's his personal touch on 130 or 130 year old recipe. Uh, passed down from his great grandfather. <clears throat> anyway, using a uh, knothead brushworks, and it has a badger, and I'm already loaded up with some of the soap. Let me go ahead and wet my face. Hope everybody is doing well. We are using a modern razor today. That's the the splurge I talked about, I think, in another video. Had our 37th anniversary recently, and we each pick something we'd splurge on and get, and I chose this razor. It came from Greece, so it's the Lambda Athena. company that uh, <clears throat> got established about 2019 and uh, a little over a year ago I have a couple videos one with a shave and one trying to correct some misinformation that was about it and even then I um, got a little bit of information wrong such as the insignia that is found on it and I'll show you that on the razor in a moment but um, I thought it was a T for the uh, owner Theodorus but it's actually the Greek letter 11th letter of the Greek alphabet lambda and that's the symbol It comes in a beautiful presentation mahogany box. Um, I probably should have got my other light here. Anyway, I'm trying to get it so you can see the stuff. And that's the symbol I was talking about, which is throughout on the razor. And there it is itself. My box snap. It's got a magnetic snap on it. Nice brass hinges on it. Rubber feet. Um, they didn't quite get mine their hand done. They didn't get the angle as deep as it needs to be, so the box doesn't quite open all the way, but enough to work, and it's just a beautiful box. Case for it. All right, set that there. And there's the razor itself. Let me pause you for one moment. Okay, so in the magic of the internet and electronics and things that was just a moment for you but uh, gave me a few minutes to go and grab uh, grab the light here to highlight the razor better so there it is it's a uh, bronze alloy aluminum and nickel and brass and uh, you can see the detail it's got uh, a brush finish on it and polish um, on the bottom here, it says uh, Lambda. And of course, it's got the insignia on either side. Uh, has some information on the bottom there as well. And uh, I'll take it apart when it's done. Um, you'll notice there's no lather channels on the bottom there, but this thing sheds water like you wouldn't believe for some reason. You can see clear through there. Uh, there but it just sheds water and rinses beautifully let's go ahead and get to shaving here <clears throat> I 
It's an extremely mild shave. It has a very, very narrow sweet spot. Because it's mild, and really no blade feel, you can have a tendency to push and put pressure on it, and that will get you some cuts, but other than that, it, it's just a mild shade if you just go about it, your business and I'm amazed at the shave you can get with it, uh, considering uh, the negative exposure. And I think it, uh, I'm assuming that the audio will pick up the sound that you still get a good bit of noise from it because it's, it's doing its job. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I keep clearing my throat. Allergies. <clears throat> Fun stuff. So I'm very happy with the razor to have it. I think with... Uh, Cost of the razor and shipping and PayPal getting their little cut by doing a conversion rate that favors them, meaning favors PayPal. I think it was two fifty. So not an inexpensive razor. But considering everything that goes into it, uh, I think it's a, a very fair price uh, for the buyer and the seller. <clears throat> the type of metal that's used in everything. Oh, I threw in my glasses. Across the grain, Dave. It's about 3.30 on a Monday morning, so it's early. And I've not had a cup of coffee yet. those that um, went and checked out Oki Shaver and subscribed to him uh, I appreciate it nice it pushed him over a hundred yeah these are log logarithms or whatever for for YouTube work <clears throat> views you get, um, subscriptions, whatever, it gets out there and more people can see and find the channel, and so he deserves that. It's been a long haul for me just to get to where I'm at, because if you're not a YouTuber that's buying subscribers because you're not building a channel for monetary value, you're not going to see a lot of uh, growth in that way. <clears throat> and as I expected, let me get a quick rinse. He commented, and um, as I expected, he's not really worried about number of subscribers any more than I am. But he's looking for engagement. 
that is people commenting and he can communicate back and so forth so so thanks for checking that out I think he's a good channel I enjoy his content <clears throat> for any that have been watching mine and for a little while they know that um I like playing with the cheap trees on the hill, chainsaws, and uh, trying to do some, get into some climbing I mentioned. For a guy working on getting close to, six, getting 60 years old, busted shoulder, surgery that didn't help. arthritis in all my joints, all kinds of aches and pains, more than normal for this age, but it is what it is when you've been rough on your body all your life, um, but I'm stubborn, have determination, I am going to do it eventually, <clears throat> I've been working on it, had a good day the other day. There's a tree that uh, I planned on climbing and taking down. And a windstorm had blown a branch that had it peeled down and it was hanging there. Oh, about halfway up the tree. <clears throat> Of course, it had all turned brown. The leaves were dying. It looked nasty. It's just begging me to go get it. And it's not a very big diameter tree, although it's about 70 foot tall. <clears throat> and so uh, I was like, I'm going to go and get at least that limb down. So hot and humid, and the asthma, I could hardly breathe. I know, I sound like I'm just complaining here about my health, but hey, I'm just trying to give the picture of what I'm dealing with and trying to do something. And why you've not heard me. Get back to you on it. So, um, I did climb that tree. Got up halfway, about 35 feet or whatever. And got that limb off. And so we are working our way towards that. <clears throat> I actually had a pouch and I took up a, I took up a shave soap and an aftershave, Texas on fire. And, uh, and I was thinking I'd get a shave of the day picture or something up there if I went all the way to the top. But <clears throat> like I said, I was halfway. I was drenched in sweat. I mean, my clothes is like I jumped in a pool or something. <clears throat> Little witch hazel. And I was just gasping for air. The humidity was just ridiculous. And so I thought I'm gonna call it a day and choose another day when it gets cooler come fall. But I'm gonna go back up that thing, get it topped out and dropped. So I don't know if I'll shave up the top of that one. It's a pretty narrow stick. By the time I top it out, it's, it's gonna be like a noodle. But we'll see. You know, I'll get a shave in up in that thing or, or maybe uh, one of the other trees on the hill that I gotta get. Okay, so there is the Lambda Athena. Let me go ahead and take it apart and give you an idea, a look at the inside of it. Let's 
see its lather channels and the, the detail on this. He even has the lambda. I don't know if you make it out, but it's on the, <laughs> the little um, stems or whatever that go through the base plate or go into the base plate. And you can see the channels for the lather to run off. When it goes in those teeth, in those teeth, it just sheds off both 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 sides, you know, and cleans it out good. So uh, on the bottom there is maiden, maiden grease, Athena, and uh, twenty three for the year twenty three and number one oh nine this year that they made. So there you have it. I'm gonna put that blade back in. I'm going to put this thing away again. Ah, you don't need to be here for that, do you? 16 minutes. I need to let you go. As uh, Patrick says, this time let you go. <laughs> so Lambda Athena. We use the Ethos Tonka Bean. Great scent. Okay. I didn't hit it with that yet, so. Hit it with the Anthony's Bay Rum. A great efficient shave, considering what a mild shaver it is. I use the knot head brush works. Uh, Tim, I don't think he's making brushes anymore. Has a badger knot in. I think a maggard's uh, two band. Anyway, Dave in Kentucky, be kind, be safe out there, and we'll see you on the forum.